All right, thanks for joining me on episode 15 now of Half Moon Bay. Welcome back to you Twitch followers. Oh, and of course, I just I forgot to go get myself a soda. Two seconds, be right back. Okay, now that I have a beverage... Old and delicious. Let's see, why are we not growing something here? Let's redo this road and see. See, now something popped right in down there. really weird I'm not sure Let's see it looks like we're gonna need another high wealth commercial And it looks like we're still going to need more low wealth and medium wealth commercial as well. some buildings in here. And along. Well, this one doesn't matter because we're going to have the the school thing in there. But we'll put some buildings down there as well. And possibly a large one there. Let's see how that does us. And eventually here... I'd like to take... Yeah, let's take this out. Let's go back to normal. <laughs> so then let's take this out. And I believe, and let's pause this, I believe I want this to go back to where I had it. Two lane ramp. Curvy, like this. <clears throat> and then we can still put more commercial in here then.
first. I said I well, maybe I move these around. Let's see. I thought I did the add-ons for these because I kind of want the uh, the passenger dock to be on this side of this one. There we go. Some signs. High commercial demand. That's fine. We want people to move into their commercial buildings. Oh, I still don't know why nothing is growing here. Maybe I have to delete or demolish this road. I'll replace the mayor's mansion, of course. Hey, that's why. There we go. Then we gotta rebuild this. There we go. Now everything's back where it should be. Everything seems to be working pretty well so far. What I should do with this is make them... I should make these one-way streets for out. <coughs> so that it doesn't cause more I mean there's another intersection but it, it should be a little bit nicer to help get people out of this section up here Hazmat fires destroying city. Well, they seem to be putting them out. And it looks like we're on pace to collect all of our garbage and recycling. Yeah, there we go. And we're also incinerating all of our stuff fast enough as well. Are we getting everyone to class still? Working on it. <coughs> Yeah, we need much more skilled workers. <coughs> and it looks like we still just have high wealth available jobs. I suppose we're going to need to make one of these. Commercial, so that we have a medium wealth commercial one. <clears throat> I 
and these will, when they upgrade in density, they will um, help this out a lot, as will these once they upgrade in density. And with the help of the Arcology, we should have enough... Yeah, we should have enough people to fill our jobs. Now it's a simple matter of everyone upgrading their densities. Well, I don't know how simple that matter is, but that's all we need them to do. I think what we'll do in the middle here is make these park things. Yeah, I don't really want to do that. But for both of these, we can do that. And then maybe we'll put a... Because um, this really should be high, high wall. So we could fit stuff all along there. Let's do one here and one here. There, that way that, that what area is just barely high wall. <coughs> And now we're just waiting for update uh, upgrades. I should figure out something to do. <coughs> Excuse me. I should figure out something to do back here. In fact, let's pause this. Take these out for a moment. And do this. Um Let's get one of these for measurement. then and move the oil power plant as well and then I think I want and actually what I should do is not connect it well that one I think I can leave But, if I'm not mistaken... Is it this one the small field? No. One of these is <coughs> the right size, just square. Maybe it's this one, medium path park. No. I don't know. One, one of those is, is the correct size square, but I don't know which one. So, we'll use this to figure that out. 
uh, but from the top one. So two of these side by side is enough for a high density uh, industrial building. Like that. And then what we do is get our ramps. Uh, there we go. And connect it in like that. And connect it in like that. Then I think we can take this corner. Do we want to use that corner? Yeah. And put our extra power in over here. <coughs> then hopefully we can avoid using the oil power plant altogether. Then we just zone this. Make these medium density streets. Make all those medium. We should be good there. And then we just need to put our uh, fire station back in. And then let's check our maglev situation, or our transit situation, whatever you want to call it. I don't think we'll actually put any on there. I think we'll be fine. Then maybe we'll just zone some of that. I don't even think we need to zone it, but something can fill in there, just like something can fill in there. Okay. Now let's let that work out. I wonder if I could squeeze a road in here. Oh, there's a... No, I can't, because there's a maglev right there. And I would have to go out to, like, here. And even then... Yeah, it wouldn't let me in there. Alright. <coughs> 
So let's ignore that. Still have a lot of people just coming in here. Though it does seem to keep moving. Hopefully we can get something to grow and take the whole thing there. Tewa. And then once the city is balanced out, we can start our next city. Okay, one of these is going to have to become commercial. To help satisfy the medium wealth commercial that we need. The city's starting to look pretty nice now that we have this traffic situation worked out. Because before, when I had this just a just a high density road, man, that would back up with traffic so badly. We're also getting a lot of people going through here. Which is not a bad thing, I suppose. <coughs> Approval rating keeps going up, which is good. 87% in ride zone. We're getting all of our jobs filled as well, which is also good. We're just not satisfying all of our shoppers, which we need to increase the uh, the density on some of these lower low wealth shops. And hopefully this will be enough this one building will be enough to satisfy our medium wealth that we need. Once it finishes, geez. Seventy eight percent. It's like watching paint dry. It takes so long. And I'm even, you know, I'm on cheetah speed. You know, it's not really a good name for that. I mean, I guess it is, if they're going to call them animal names. But cheetahs are only fast over short distances. I mean, if you can run fast enough from a cheetah, like, after 10 minutes, they're they're worn out tops, you know. Probably, like, two minutes. It's just meant for bursts of speed. Perfect. That was actually just just the right amount because it was over. It was three hundred thirty five. So it's like a hundred over that, which is filled in by our commuters. And once these upgrade in density, we should be good to go.
You know, I wonder, this almost seems like enough room for something else. Let's take out, like, everything. <clears throat> See what grows in. Because there should be, yeah, I was going to say, there should be enough room for a third thing up there. What we really need is for these workers to be much more skilled, which seems to be taking quite a long time. You know, I could put in one of these here. Uh, library. Like, actually, right there would be nice. Help out a little bit. Hello, Tavanino. Good to see you in the chat. We still need more high wealth. By quite a bit. So let's start doing this. And There we go. Now we'll get all this up to high wealth, along the edge at least. those buildings converted. And if I extend these, I should be able to get enough high wealth area up here to convert all these. Now I want to try not to touch this area. And I can actually probably back this off. And just use 
a couple right down here. So, let's take these out. That way we get the right wealth in the right places. There we go. This should be pretty cool to watch in a minute here. As everybody starts going wherever they need to go. This just fills up with workers. <laughs> kind of crazy how many that just fill the roads like that. Everybody's coming in to work a correct way. Oh, this is all hooked up the wrong way. Okay, that's why. I was like, why aren't people taking that direction? So let's fix that. Uh, whoops, we need roads. people are going the way that they should. I was wondering why so many people were going off like this way up and around and through town and yeah it wasn't making sense. Starting to fill this out now. So now we're back to a worker shortage for our low wealth. Here's what we should do take that one out. Let's take these two out.
There we go. And then let's do this up here. And then we'll do the same type of thing on this side. If I can get the right thing to come out. There we go. And I think we can extend this <coughs> to start covering this corner. So there we go. Then everybody should be where we want them to be, I think. So we're minimizing our low wealth, or our medium wealth. If I do that, and then, because I don't, I don't, I, I want this to stay low wealth on this side. But I want this to stay high wealth. Yeah, see that's gonna push it <coughs> push it into medium wealth over there. If we do this, Okay, that's getting closer. It's still that cuts into this though. I wonder if we use medium wealth over here. No, that doesn't that doesn't help enough. If I do that, it's just right, but then there's... <coughs> hmm. 
What if we do this? Let's rearrange this. Because now there's water like everywhere over here. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe we can fit two sideways. Yeah. There we go. Let's try that. Because then this area stays low wealth and we can just put housing down here. So let's make sure. Looks like everybody's in the wealth value that they're supposed to be. So we still got some low wealth jobs that we need taken care of. Oh yeah, we can send fire trucks since we <laughs> demolished and rebuilt it. So now these many, th this many unsatisfied low wealth, I think I can deal with for the moment because we're going to have another city here. And that amount will commute without much hassle. Eighty six percent. So yeah, we're going to let this grow for a little bit here, a little bit longer. And then um, in the next video that I start pretty soon today, we will do, we'll start the new city. But I will take a little bit of a break after this video, like, you know, 15 minutes, half hour maybe. Everything does seem to flow really well, though. I really, really like having one-way roads. Like, I can't stress enough how awesome it is. I'm wondering if we shouldn't switch this out for the regional one. Except that it doesn't fit there, does it? So 
It's okay, we're gonna need more power anyway. Actually, let's see if we can fit this on better. like this this time. There, that's much better. Then we still have to figure out a place for our regional buses. I suppose we can just take part of this road. Yeah, let's do this. There. There goes all of those. <coughs> Has map fires destroying city? Yeah, it's being put out. Let's check this here. So we're getting enough students attending that we're filling up at least our process our first processor factory really fast. And then we should be filling up our other factories pretty well. I guess we need we need more students attending is really the problem here. And I would have thought from the arcology that we'd have a lot. Once mostly filling these up. suppose if we want more tech level we'd have to put in the research thing and I don't really want to do that the Academy that's what that thing's called Rain Burfer. Oh, we got another research project we can start though I'm wondering, did we actually complete just about everything we can? Pretty much. Okay, so I guess it doesn't matter what we research now.
Let's see. We're actually still making money, even though we have taxes at zero. A lot of ferries in here too now. Oh, okay. Cool. We have residents riding the ferries. They weren't before. So 23,000 riding buses. 15,000 riding the subway. It's only 60 riding boats. <laughs> Somehow we have 107 people riding train car or street cars, which we don't have, and only 200 riding the train. Hmm. Okay. However, everything seems to be <coughs> working really, really nicely in this city as far as traffic goes. And so let's start sending some of this stuff out to our other cities here. And send half of everything basically over to this other city. There we go. Yeah, we're making a lot of money. So this city is relatively done. It just needs people. And I think we're going to have to commute people in from other cities to make this work. <coughs> we still have a few more buildings that are increasing density. But for the most part, like this one still needs to, but for the most part, we're fine there. I think we actually need more people, so let's take this out. Yeah, that looks like a fancy city. Fancy, fancy. <laughs> we'll have a few more of these that will grow in and in increase density. Yeah, it looks like all this is working pretty well. There's some density increase down there. Oh, we had a building fire back here. <laughs> still have a few high wealth unsold goods. Let's see, where is this? Let's change this to people then.
And that should get rid of our high wealth unsold goods issue. This little area here is a bit of wasted space. I'm not really sure what I could do with it. Other than some fun, you know, I could try to do some fun railroad stuff. Um, trains. Like, I could do this. Um, trains. Take this up here. Connect that in. And then curve this down like this. Maybe. Oops. And we make a little, you know, track change thing. So we have to back it up a little bit more. Too close to existing intersection. Let's draw it from back here to come up like here. this by doing something with this road. Come on. train interchange just to make just to fill up that area <clears throat> let's check our densities here everything's getting there we're gonna have a lot of low wealth or, or low density showing here because of the stuff that's underneath the road here Ninety percent approval rating. All right. So I think we're going to call this the end of the episode and the end of this city. This has been our seed city, so hence the name Seed Valley. 
So what I actually did earlier, if you missed some of the earlier episodes, is I sent $10 million to each of the other cities so we can get them started whenever we jump in there. So in the next episode, which if you're watching live, I'll start in about half an hour or so, maybe a little less, um, we'll start another city, and it'll be a mostly population-based city so we can help get population out to everybody. Um, if you like watching live, you can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash tinvec. And if you like watching my stuff on YouTube, I also have a channel there. It's youtube.com slash tinvec as well. And of course, there's tinvec.com, so you can find everything in one place. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. I've enjoyed having you watch. And I hope to see you again soon.